What's going on, people? Hope you can, uh... Um, last video, I said I was pretty sure I was going to be negative. Um, <laughs> it was all a wash. It was all a wash. Um, and, and what made it not negative was, uh, there's, there's a sign-on bonus and you get 300 every month. That happened to hit this week. Put me even. <laughs> I'll take even over being in a hole any day. So, um, bad weeks, they're going to happen. It, it happened. Uh, what can you do? What can you do? Uh, this week is going to be a good week. Uh, today's Thursday. And, uh, we will deliver the load we have. And then, of course, I'm at the terminal. It was on the way to where we're delivering, so we decided to stop here. Um, and not even thinking about it, it was driver appreciation week, so uh, they had free food. Uh, Schneider Finance uh, had a couple people here, so they they were giving away some goodies. Um, you know, uh, I did ask a question, uh, not that it means anything, but if I had decided, if I decided tomorrow that, uh, I want to take trucks somewhere else, what does that involve? Uh, and since everything is in good standing and I already have a, uh, I already put a down payment on a truck when I bought it. I mean, so I can take a truck anywhere I want to take. <laughs> if I decided to. And the other reason I asked the question is, is I've been looking at uh, uh, videos uh, in reference to other load boards just to see what their rates are looking at. Uh, the rates here are, are good. Uh, I'm definitely making good money for the amount of uh, actual work that I've done. Uh, I mean, I, I've had the truck two and a half months, and I almost got uh, twenty-two thousand miles on it. So, I mean, I'm not killing myself, but I'm still running, and miles are not what I'm looking for. But I mean, that should be an indication that, yeah, I, you know, I'm moving freight. Um, but again, you know. I, I always like to know as much information as I can about everything, and it was just a curiosity question, and I got an answer. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to deliver this load tomorrow, and then we're going to uh, come back to the terminal, and uh, I'm going to have uh, the 90-day the uh, DOT inspection done, which is required. Uh, so I'll probably run it through the Blue Beacon before I bring it in here. It needs it. I mean, the bugs have just thrown themselves at the truck. Uh, and, and the reason I, another reason I brought that up, uh, I watch uh, a few. I don't, I don't watch. I don't watch very many videos uh, from other truck drivers. Hold on a second. But um, I, I, I like watching uh, Trucking with Selena, Jeremy and Selena. I don't know if anybody ever watches them. If you don't, check them out. Uh, their videos are pretty good. They're, uh, they got a really great sense of humor. Uh, and, 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 you know, but they, they're owner ops. And they bought a truck. They went to work for Landstar. Uh, then they were... Then they went to Travel Local. That didn't work out so well. And they came back to Landstar. And somebody, they did a live feed. Somebody had made a comment about them uh, job hopping. And they responded the way they felt necessary. But my response to that would have been, I am my company. This, this is my company. 
whether I drive freight for Schneider or whoever, I, it doesn't matter. This is my company. I'm not job hopping. I'm going, like any company, you're going to go where, where you're going to make the most money. If you're uh, selling product uh, to A and suddenly you realize you can do better selling to B, you're going to sell to B. Um, it's a bad analogy, but it's basically what it is. You can, uh, so it's not job hopping. That's, that's, it was funny to hear somebody even, you know, them respond to that comment because they are their job. Uh, and they can take their truck anywhere they want. And they have. Uh, not that they're going anywhere else. They obviously like it at Landstar, uh, or they wouldn't have went back when they did. Um, but yeah, I just, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it, when you're doing this, this truck is not financed through Snyder National. This truck's financed through Snyder Finance. Uh, same umbrella. They're both under the same umbrella. But there's still two separate entities. And in reference to this truck, uh, Schneider National has no hold on it. They could, they could call me right now and say, we don't want to do business with you anymore. I still have to pay for this truck. So I would have to take it somewhere. And, you know, that, that's one of the reasons, not that they would, but that's one of the reasons for, for a question. Um, but yeah, I, you know, uh, it was good that, it, you know, we broke even. <laughs> I know that don't sound good, uh, but I'll take that over a negative any day. Um, and we've made enough since I started here that it's, it's, it's not, it's not going to hurt us, really. It's not. Um, our bills for next month are already paid, or for this whole month, they're already paid. Uh, so, it is what it is, you know. Uh, but, uh, Dave Bennett, I appreciate the comments uh, that you do give me and the information. Um, but I was thinking about what you said about weights. Uh, that you were having problem with the weights not being accurate from what they're telling you it's going to be to what it ends up being when you take the load. And uh, you are correct. <laughs> what I'm noticing um, is a trend that the discrepancies on the load board never seem to favor the driver. It always favors everyone else, either the customer or Schneider, uh, which I find remarkable. Because if they were just mistakes, you'd think of some of those mistakes would be to your benefit. <laughs> but they have not been to me so far. Others, maybe, not me. Uh, but when you, when you mention the weight thing, and again, I, I don't know if it was on purpose but the load I took to Virginia when I selected off the load board there is no way in Hades I would ever take a load across those hills paying for the fuel myself over 35,000 pounds it just wouldn't happen I mean that would even be pushing it for me uh, I don't like to go to the East Coast anyway. Um, fuel's higher, obviously. Uh, but when I selected the load, it was 31, 31, 938, or 738. 31, 738 was what they listed it at. And to be a specific number, I'm going to make the assumption that somebody knows what the actual weight is. And, you know, because some will just put 40,000 or 35,000 or 45,000. They just put a general number up there, and when you get there, you don't know what it could actually be. This one was specific. And when I got there and picked the load up and looked at the paperwork, it was 41,738. Uh, you can try to play that off as a fat finger mistake, uh, hitting a three instead of a four. Um, considering if you look at most keypads, the three and four are opposite one another, find it hard to believe. <laughs> Now on a keyboard, yep. Anyway, 
Uh, so yeah, I, I've experienced loads not being what they're claimed to be. Uh, I mean, normally it's not a big deal, but when you're dragging 41, almost 42,000 pounds across those hills, and it's, you know, yeah, you're gonna burn a lot more fuel at 41 than you would at 31. So, uh, yeah. So, just thought I'd comment on that <laughs> since you said it. Um, I appreciate all the new subscribers. Uh, I thank you. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much my video. Uh, doing laundry, just catching up on stuff. Uh, so that we don't have to do it while we're home because we're gonna go home for a day while we get the DOT done. He said it probably it'd probably be at least a day. If I drop it off tomorrow, it should be done by Saturday afternoon. Uh, so we're, we're just gonna go with that. Uh, APU. He he. The guy in the shop said that they've been doing uh, like a one year thing. Um, and Thermal King's website says six months. So I'm going to do uh, a six month PM on this APU when it gets to that time, uh, just to make sure it's it's good. Um, but if anybody has any other information on that, let me know. They do, they didn't, he's, uh, he told me that up until a couple months ago, they did not do the PMs at the uh, terminal. Uh, I don't know if he meant this terminal specifically or all the terminals. But he said now, you know, in the last couple months, they, they now they do, do PMs on the APUs here. And I think that's because there's more Schneider trucks with them, company trucks. So I'm going to have, you know, PM done here be cheaper by a few dollars anyway. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, just keep moving. Um, of course, we got the boss. He's worthless. He's worthless. Ain't you? Are you worthless? I'm taking that as a no. <laughs> but as always, I appreciate you guys taking the time. Be safe. We'll talk to you.